Okay, we're in the first week of June. I think it's the third or the fourth today. And look at the size of these bananas. The biggest ones flowered last year and I cut them back. These are the uh, pups from the original two that I planted. So I, I cut two down there, but I think they were going into the third year into the ground and these are the pups. And I can't even tell you how tall that is. 15 feet maybe? Really coming on strong now. Um, we've had some real nice warm weather and, and I find here warm nights, that's the key. You get warm nights and they really move. Um, I have some other ones that are not quite as tall as these, but getting pretty close. Um, but they're hidden behind some palms. And I have um, other ones that have done bad, really bad. I had a massive clump here. And this clump was up above uh, blocking part of those windows. And with that ice storm we had, these ones seemed to take the full brunt of it. The way the storm came in, it, it heavily encased these in ice. Um, none of these have flowered in this spot, but I wanted to show you. The two biggest ones have not come back. So I don't know if they were at the point they were getting ready to flower. And they just kind of ran out of time. And then uh, that was it, but they're done. There's nothing going on. So I have these pups here, which will probably get, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 feet this year. They're, and even these were slow to come out. You can see how far back I had to cut them, almost all the way to the ground. Look at that one. So put these guys with the banana fuel, but uh, they don't look nearly as good as these ones that I think the trackies beside them really helped kind of keep the ice off them, but really getting big. And there's quite a few in there. And this clump is last year was very impressive. So it's a banana update.